Today, thousands of Occupy protesters across the country will leave their tents and they'll gather at decaying bridges and roads. And here at home, they'll meet at the Prospect Bridge over I-70. Sloan Heller is live downtown to explain why. Good morning, Sloan. Good morning, Zhao Zhao. Today signals two months since the Occupy protests started. Uh, it's being called actually the National and International Day of Action. And what you're going to see uh, from some of these protesters here in Kansas City, as well as protesters across the country, kind of spreading this message. Why can we afford to keep so many people out of work when so much work needs to be done? And their focus is really going to be, as you mentioned, on infrastructure in, uh, issues across the country. You're going to see 200 plus Occupy movements, again, including Kansas City, gathering at crumbling roads near rotting sewers and structurally unsound bridges. By the way, Missouri has been ranked seventh in the country as far as deficient bridges. We actually have 4,000 bridges deemed deficient. So between 4 and 6 o'clock today, protesters in Kansas City, they're going to be leaving their campsite here outside Liberty Memorial, heading to the prospect. Bridge. Now, the Prospect Bridge, why? Transportation for America says that bridge is structurally deficient, which means it either needs to be maintained, rehabbed, or replaced. Uh, because it's dilapidated, and we know that we could have spent money on that bridge instead of wherever else they spent the money. Now, we've seen uh, some unruliness, some violence break out at different Occupy uh, campsites and movements across the country. Here, very peaceful here in Kansas City. And we talked to a woman who's been here camped out for about a month now. And she said that's just the way we are here in Kansas City. However, she says it's just a matter of time before that changes. We're live this morning in Liberty Memorial. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News Today.